Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, I just want to share something about something that Jesus said. Um, I had a, uh, let, me, let me just read it. It says, think not that I have come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foe shall be they of his own household. He that loves father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves son and daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And, and he that take not his uh, uh, stake or in this cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that find his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Hey, people, YouTube citizens, here's the deal. Here is the deal. I have a friend. And matter of fact, I'm going to allow Pastor Dow to do more of the explanation of this stuff. But here is the deal. This is an epidemic where women are leaving their husbands, leaving their husband. What is Jesus talking about here? Jesus, like, how is he going to set us apart? How was he going to set a family apart? He says, I don't think I've come here to bring peace. Most people I have asked this question and says, hey, do you think Jesus came to bring me? Oh, yeah, Jesus wants peace. No, Jesus did not come to bring peace. And this is how homes are going to get destroyed or divided because you're going to have those who choose to follow Yahweh and keep his commandments. And you have the rest that's just not going to follow him. And this is what's happening. I had a brother. I have a brother who his wife literally got a restraining order because last night him, I mean, his wife and his 14 year old daughter attacked him, attacked the father, literally attacked him. Police had to get involved. They ended up sleeping at, 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 their, uh, at his in-law's house. And he went to work. I ca he called me this morning. I said, bro, get off your job. You tell your work. Tell them that, hey, I got to take care of some personal stuff. Get home because I'm telling you, your wife is at home right now trying to get all your stuff and put you in a Get home. Get a restraining order before she beats you to the punch. And darn it. I... I, I, literally after I told him that, within hours later, I found out that his wife just got a restraining order. Him. Now he had to get all his stuff out and go get a hotel room. And this is a dude that washed my feet. I come to his home and he washed my feet. I hung out, broke bread with him and his wife. I, you know, because he, he, he's a commandment keeper. His wife is not. She is a religious. She is a, she is a Christian. I mean, this woman is a poster child for Christianity in that area. I mean, they bring her to go speak and everything. Christian woman. This is why I struggle with Christianity. This is why, people. Because Christianity does not teach women their role. And they, and they, and they suppress the men and, and, uh, and elevate the woman over the man. And now, when a man is trying to do right, this is a man that's trying to keep the commandments of Yah, trying to live a a godly life, a biblical life. And the church, once again, same situation that I'm in, same situation. And because this happened to me, I was able to tell him that your wife is, I said, bro, I'm saying right now, I don't, he, I think he's been married to his wife for 25 years. If I seen it once, I seen it a thousand times. I now understand what that statement means because I knew it and I was right. People, there's an epidemic going on. The king is coming. We are truly in the last days. This is a brother that I've been to his home. He washed my feet. This is a man that genuinely, I've, I've gotten to know him from, he's been to my house. I've been to his house now. I, we've been, we met at the feast. We talk on the phone. We talk on Marco Polo. This is a man that genuinely is trying to, trying to be a father, trying to be a husband. Didn't grow up with a dad. Didn't grow up with a dad. Didn't even, never even met his dad and trying to be the best father he can be. And what does he get paid for? How does he get re re return? He gets, kicks, he gets kicked out of his house. What happened to honor your father and your mother? What happened to that? It seems like it's all about just honoring the mom and just piss on dad. That's what it looks like right now. And so I'm going to put a video down here. Check this video out from Pastor Dow. Pastor Dow is a man that you can trust. This is a pastor that I can say that I've almost known him for almost a year. And compared to all the pastors I've ever known, he, 
I have seen him in his, how, how he lives life. I have seen Pastor Dow how he's lived life. I have broken bread with Pastor Dow. I've spent hours just because of Shabbat alone, but I've spent hours with Pastor Dow than I have with all the pastors combined. And Pastor Dow by far, I'm talking, about, it's not, it's pale. Everyone is pale. You take all my Christian experience and you package it together and you package it real good and put a bow tie on there. It is pale in comparison to what Pastor Dow does for his people. Pastor Dow truly is a man after Yah's own heart. He is a Jeremiah 315 pastor. He, what he says, I'll give you pastors according to my heart. Who will give you? Who will teach? Who will give you knowledge and understanding? Pastor Tao is doing that. One of the things that Pastor Tao tells us to do is do not get a marriage license. Once you get a marriage license, you can. You, now you are under the state. Now you are in a polygamy. People have issue with polygamy. Now you're truly in a polygamous relationship. It's you, the court, and your and your wife. So I'm telling you people, please take it from me. Do not get a marriage license. Do not get a marriage license. And don't marry these Christian women. These Christian women are being taught to usurp the authority of the husbands. To, to I mean, it, it's just, it's crazy. These, matter of fact, one thing I've learned about women that, that I'm starting to learn about women, I'm learning a lot. But th this is the interesting thing about women. Women do a very good, and Pastor Dow talks about this a bit, but they do a very good job in studying men. While we're out going to work, I, I just talked to another guy, talked to the, our women do a very good job in studying men. While we're going to work, being busy, trying to build a home, take care of our family, do all the stuff that we men do, they spend time studying us. They know our habits. They know our, our just things that we do. They, know, they, they sit there and study us. We, we don't do that because we're so focused on thinking about building a home for a family. We don't have time to do all this stuff. That's what they do. And I truly believe that Yah gave women the gift to do that, to study their men. Why? To be a help meet, to see what he needs. Things that he may not be thinking about because he's so forward thinking so that they can be there to help meet his needs. But the devil goes and used the gift that, that Yah gave a woman to help her husband to actually, uh, to actually uh, be contentious, to actually be undermining, to be evil, to be wicked. So what, what, what Yah meant for good, Satan used it for evil. So women, you, you, you're going to always, that's why women sometimes struggle and say, well, how come he doesn't know what I need? I, I mean, I know what he needs. Well, because you have a, 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 a God-given gift to study your, your mate, to study your husband. That gift was made so that you can help meet your husband's needs, not to sit there and find a way to, un, to take advantage of him, to hurt him, to bring evil. You're supposed to bring good. He's supposed to trust in you. So anyway, women, just understand that. So we, our job is to focus on the most high. While you're focusing on us, we're focusing on our master too. We're trying to figure out what our master needs. And you're focused on what we need. So people, I just wanted to share that again. This is, this is an epidemic. I mean, just two people that I've ever talked to already, th their wife left them. Just left them. 30, you got one that's 30-something years. You got one that's 25 years. You got me 16 years. I mean, this is crazy. And these are good men. These are men that I, men that I have high respect for. And the, the, the system is rigged towards these men. I'm telling you, man, I'm, it is crazy. It is crazy. Anyway, tell me what you think. This is, a, this is once again, I had a, somebody asked me about this marriage license. Do not, when you get that marriage license, it now puts, it, it, it now allows the court to usurp your authority and tell, uh, tell you what to do with your stuff. And how to break, how to divide your, your your stuff, your marriage, how to dissolve it. It's not biblical. You don't need a marriage license. Hear me. You don't need a marriage license. Show me in the Bible where it says you need to get a marriage license. Show me. And then I'll, I'll recant everything I said about getting a marriage license. But you don't need. And if a woman says that she wants a marriage license before she marries you, you run. Now, don't walk. You run so fast that when she, she would think you're crazy. Just, just run. If she does not want to, if she wants to not marry you without a marriage license, run. 
She's not the, she's not the one for you. And if you do it, at least you heard it from me. I already told you, do not get a marriage license. All right, tell me what you think. I hope this stimulate thought, but once again, this just breaks my heart, and I am gonna do a video on Pastor Dow. I mean, it's gonna be a long video because I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have to somehow maybe do part A, part B, but because Pastor Dow is just an amazing man. Everything that I'm learning, everything that I'm seeing now is because of Pastor Dow. Pastor Dow is a true pastor. He truly cares about the soul of people. I, I cannot say, I, I have a hard time even calling anybody a pastor because of Pastor Dow. Pastor Dow has raised the bar so high, I don't think there's too many people that can be, uh, be, uh, be up there with him. This man truly cares about people. He truly cares about, he truly has a love for, love for Yacht and a love for, for, the, for the people that he's shepherding. So anyway, tell me what you think. Blessings, shalom, shalom.